In this video, I will show you how to plot a ROC curve in SAS. Make sure you have gone through the uh, video on receiver operating characteristics in the same channel. Uh, I have covered the theory about uh, receiver operating characteristics or ROC curve uh, in that video. Just to remind you, um, we use ROC curve to assess the predictive power of a logistic regression model. I have a logistic regression model here wherein I have uh, used the data for uh, student admission in a, in a college. Admit is my dependent variable which has got 1 and 0. If a student is admitted, it, it has 1, else it's 0. I have got three uh, independent variables, uh, GRE, GPA and RAC. So that's the model I have with me. And I'm, I'm running this model uh, to get the estimate. And along with the estimate, I want the ROC curve to be plotted. Okay. The syntax, if you have gone through my video on logistic regression, you, you must be pretty much uh, familiar with the log proc logistic syntax. If you haven't, please go through the uh, videos on logistic regression. <coughs> Two things we need to add. Um, make sure you have the graphics on, ODS graphics on and then use the option plots in the bracket only equal to ROC. When we run this, you will have the logistic regression output along, along with that, you will also have the uh, ROC plot. I have already run it. So you can see the uh, logistic output followed by at the very end, you will have the ROC curve of the model. Okay, so how do we interpret it? Okay, um, the line that you can see on the screen is a 45 degree uh, line, 45 degree to the x-axis. Well, that is a sort of a bend, uh, you know, neck, a lower bound for the ROC. Okay, you cannot have a ROC below this line. You, you need to have it uh, uh, to the left of that line or to the upper side of the line. Uh, if your if your ROC is 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 lying on the line on the 45 degree line, then it's a very bad model. There is no point in having a model which which lies on the line same line. So you need to have a model uh, ROC uh, which is above the line. Okay. So our model uh, ROC is above the line. So it's better than better than a random gauge. Okay. But um, <coughs> And what is the um, area under the curve? Area under the curve is 0.69, which exactly is same as the C statistic. You can see uh, area under the curve is 0.6928 and the C statistic is 0.693. So they're pretty much uh, same. Okay. Well, <coughs> we, we uh, need ROC for comparison purposes. When you uh, see this graph, you have only uh, the uh, ROC for one model. You may have a certain number of models, uh, two model, three model, five models, and you need to, uh, you may want to compare the uh, model, uh, you know, power in a ROC curve. You can, of course, do it using the proc logistic syntax, wherein you can compare two, three models uh, ROC and choose the best one. Um, how do we choose the best one? Well, the uh, ROC curve, which is the leftmost to the line, is the best model. So, since uh, what we want is the area under the curve should be maximum. So that is the criteria for the best model. To do that, let's learn how to uh, plot the uh, ROC using the Z-plot. Um, if you do not want to use uh, plot, equal to ROC of course that that takes a lot of time to run um, you can you can save the ROC out ROC data in a separate data set and then use prop G plot to plot it um, use the uh, option here out ROC equal to and then um, give a data set name I have given it as uh, ROC data and when I run this uh, the the, uh, the ROC information will be uh, saved in the data set. Let us go to this data set. 
ROC data saved in my work library. You have uh, sensitivity and one minus specificity values there. All we can do is that uh, we can uh, plot the sensitivity and one minus specificity um, and then uh, get the ROC curve there. Okay, that is one way. Um, Sometimes we may have uh, uh, you know ROC information for a couple of uh, models. We can uh, plot everything together using the uh, proc g plot as well, and so that we can we can compare, right? Because uh, the main intention for plotting a ROC is to compare models and choose the best model out of several models. When we plot sensitivity uh, against the one minus specificity, we get the ROC uh, curve. So let's plot this. You can see it here. Doesn't look good. You can uh, use better options in uh, proc G plot uh, so that the look and feel of the graph is good. So that's how we uh, plot ROC both using uh, proc logistic regression and also we can uh, draw the ROC curve uh, by using uh, the information from the out ROC data. Okay.